Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are covering the exciting and constantly growing field of open source LLMs. At the moment we have really useful tools that have sprung up like LM Studio, Olama and Autogen Studio. They make it easy to run any open source model locally. Plus they provide us with the option to run LLMs as an API. Imagine the possibilities with this option. We can integrate these LLMs within our apps or build anything on top of them. Today we are going to build a chatbot using an open source large language model. We will use Olama for this. They have just released a Windows version. We can download this for the following OS. I'll choose Windows. The installation process is very easy. Open the installer and click to install. It is a lightweight program and we'll see it running in the Windows tray. We can interact with it using the CLI. Once installed, we can confirm if this is running by issuing the Olama command in the command prompt. On their website, under the models page, they have various models listed that are available in this ecosystem. You can explore the models and download the ones you like. We have various commands available to us in the CLI. We can pull down models from their registry and run them. We can issue a run command and this will pull and run the model. If the model does not exist locally, it will pull it down and then run the model. If this is the first time you're running it, it will take some time to download the model depending on the size. Once available, it will run the model and we can interact with it in the CLI. We can provide a prompt and it will provide an answer here. This is great to explore, but we'll build a chatbot using the API in Streamlit. If you just want to play around with it, Olama has a Python library that we can install using the pip package manager and they provide you with the basic uh, getting started code. You can explore and build on this. However, we'll use Streamlit boilerplate code and adjust it for our purposes. This is the basic Streamlit app. Let's run and preview it. We can run it using the Streamlit run command and provide it our Python file, which is named app.py. This launches the basic Streamlit app. We can enter a prompt here. It prints the command and generates a random string as a response. To interact with the LLM, we'll use the light LLM library. So let's go ahead and install it with a pep command. First, let's remove the random string function and replace it with a generate response function. I'll go ahead and paste in the code. This function takes a prompt and makes the call to the local LLM model with a given prompt. The Olama serves the models on this port by default. We can also try it with a CLI with a curl command and provide a prompt. Anyways, this returns the response. We parse the response and get the text from the response and return it. We call this function after we enter the prompt and print the response. So this is the required code for our local chatbot using the local LLM. Let's go ahead and run our app and test out the LLM integration. Our app is functional. We'll provide a prompt. Tell me a joke. The Streamlit app is running and once it receives a response, it will print it down here. The app keeps the history of the chat as we enter another prompt. Let's enter a second prompt, write a Python code that converts integers to decimals. It is doing its work behind the scene and we have a response and it printed out the Python code. We can take the code and try it out. Next, we can ask it to compare two SQL tables. We can take the response and, uh, and see if it provide appropriate code. We can ask it general knowledge questions. What's the distance between Earth and the Moon? And it provides a response back to us. Okay, so this is our basic chat application. We provide the model with a prompt and it prints the response back here and it keeps the chat history as well. So there we have it. We have our own private GPT. We can download multiple models and swap them for different tasks. The Olama platforms provides an easier way to work with LLMs locally. Plus the response time of the models is amazing. You have to give it a try on your end and let me know what you think of the progress and the open source space. This is all for now on the open source LLMs. More to come on this.
like share and subscribe take care and i'll see you in the next video